The number of incoming freshmen at a university increased from 875 to 1,245 from 2011 to 2012. We want to know what the percent increase in the number of incoming freshmen rounded to the nearest tenth of a percent. To look at this problem, we are realizing that we are dealing with a percent change. We want to know from our original value of 875 students in 2011 to our new value of 1,245 in students in 2012, what was that percent change? One way to approach this problem is we can calculate the percent change as the amount of change or the difference between the new and the original value all over the original value. This will give us our decimal and then we can multiply this result by a hundred percent in order to give us that percent change. Therefore, let's look at our change. Our change again is our new value minus our original. Our new value is the number of students in 2012, which was 1,245. Take away the original value of 875 total incoming freshmen. Now we have the change. We're going to divide that result by our original. And again, our original is the number of incoming freshmen in 2011, which was 875 students. Again, we would multiply this result by 100 in order to give us our answer in terms of a percent. Let's look at this change. Taking 1,245 minus 875 is going to give us 370. That means that the in number of incoming freshmen increased by 370 students from 2011 to 2012. Divide this by our original 875 incoming freshmen, and again multiplying by 100 to give our percent change. What this is really asking us is what percent of our original 875 incoming freshmen is 370. Well, we would notice that half of 875 is 437 and a half. Therefore, we know that 370 is a little bit less than 50% of 875. This would give us an approximation. Now let's actually do the calculation. Taking 370 and dividing it by 875, we're going to get a decimal of 0 0.4 two two eight six about and then multiplying that by a hundred to give us our percent therefore we know we need to round this to the nearest tenth of percent so when I do my calculation and change my decimal into a percent I would get 42 percent and then my decimal of two eight six so 42.286%. Since I need this rounded to the nearest tenth of percent, I would round the two up to three, giving us an estimate of 42.3%, which is our percent increase.